What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm going to show you all of the amazing Galaxy S24 AI features that came to these new phones. Now there's a lot to cover so let's get right into it. Now fortunately Samsung made it easy for us and put some of the AI features that came to the new phone in a settings window. So if we open up our settings and then we scroll down to advanced features we can go to advanced intelligence and read about some of these new AI features. Now not everything is in here. There are a few items that aren't listed in here but I will go over those as well but if you want to quickly read over them you can go through them by yourself but I'm going to show you one by one exactly what all of these new features are and even show you some of the ones that aren't included in here which are absolutely amazing too. All right so let's jump into the very first AI feature now this one is actually not listed on here but I think by now pretty much everybody has heard about it because everyone is talking about it but it's called circle to search. Now if you want to double check if it's enabled for you or maybe you want to enable it if it's not what you can do is go to your phone settings Go to display, scroll down until you see navigation bar, and then right there you'll see circle to search. So if it's not enabled, go ahead and enable it. And now what you can do is invoke circle to search by just tapping on this bar right here. And if you're using the button navigation instead of swipe gestures, you can go ahead and tap on this home button and hold it to invoke circle to search. So I'm going to show you exactly how this works. So let's say you're scrolling through social media. Maybe you're on TikTok and you're just scrolling around and you see some maybe really cool car that you like. What you can do is tap this bar right here. You can see it fires up this circle to search feature and we can just circle whatever item we see on our screen and you can see that we get Google results for exactly what we circled and we can go through and search all of the different different articles and learn more about it. I think this feature is absolutely amazing. And the best part about it is this is just an overlay. You don't actually need to leave the application. I still got TikTok running in the background. Once I have everything I need, I can just swipe this away and continue using TikTok. This is absolutely amazing. You can even do this on your home screen to your wallpaper. So a lot of the times in my videos, you guys are always asking me what wallpapers I'm using and I can't reply to all of you, but you don't need me to tell you anymore because if you have this phone, you can invoke circle to search, circle my wallpaper on your screen and you're going to get those results right here and you can go through and find exactly what you're looking for. I mean, this is absolutely crazy. And another amazing feature of circle to search is you can actually invoke it while you have your camera open. So if you're walking around maybe at somebody's house and you see some cool furniture and they don't remember where it's from or you just want to learn more about it, you can open up your camera point it at that item, invoke circle to search while the camera is open, circle that item, and then it will tell you more about it. That is absolutely insane. I honestly think this is by far the coolest AI feature that they brought in here, and you can definitely do a lot of really fun stuff with it. So really, really awesome stuff. All right, guys, the next AI feature has to do with generating wallpaper. So what we're going to do is just pinch on our home screen. We're going to go to wallpaper and style. We're going to go to change wallpapers. And right there, you can see under creative, there's a generative. So we're going to tap onto here, and now you can go ahead and generate generate your own AI picture. So there's a few options up here. So let's say maybe you like what this one looks like. You can tap on this and then we have a few highlighted options in here that we can change. So we have a abstract cyan color. So let's change it from cyan to maybe gold. We'll change mountain to let's do beach and then we'll go from clouds to maybe waves. And now what we can do is just tap generate and it's going to generate a wallpaper based on these options that we chose right here. And there you go. You can see we even get a few options so you can kind of go through here and select which one you want and you can set it as your wallpaper. Now you can also go back in here and then you can create something new. So let's say maybe we want to create, uh, let's do painting. This one looks a little bit fun and then we'll change again. We'll go from jungle. Let's set this to cave. Uh, we'll go from nothing else to let's do robots. Then we'll change this one to let's do abstract. And then we're going to tap generate and check it out. These actually look really fun. These are some pretty cool wallpapers. And I love that it gives you a few different options. Of course, you can keep playing around with these until you find something you like. But let's say we want to set this one. We'll just tap next, select your home screen and lock screen if you want. Tap done. Give it a second to apply it. And now you can see we have that wallpaper that we just generated from scratch. All right, now I'm going to show you guys another wallpaper related AI feature. But if you go back to advanced features, you go to labs and then go to photo ambient wallpaper. This is disabled by default. We're going to enable this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our home screen. We're going to pinch out. We're going to go to wallpaper and style change wallpaper. And now when you enable this, you're going to get this new feature here that says photo ambient. This is not going to show up unless you enable that feature that I just showed you. But now when you go into here, it's going to show you your photo gallery. So we're going to go into my wallpapers and select a photo for the uh, wallpaper. So I'm going to select this one right here. And now you can see we have that wallpaper here on our lock screen. But here is where the secret magic of AI happens. If I tap this play button, you can see what it's going to do is show me the weather on 
this wallpaper. So if it's raining outside or if it's snowing, you're gonna see that effect right here. But the cool part is AI realizes that there is a subject here and you can see the snow is actually falling in front and behind this subject right here. Now I'm gonna play it again. And if you look closely at the rain, you'll even see the raindrops bouncing off of the shoulders and the hood right there. So it realizes that there's a subject right here and it does this really cool 3D type of animated effect. And I think this looks absolutely awesome. All right, guys, now this next AI feature has to do with when you're on a phone call. So if you're ever talking to somebody and there's a lot of background noise or you're just in a really noisy environment and it's hard to hear, you can actually isolate the voice, making it a lot easier to hear. And all you gotta do is when you're on a phone call, just swipe down twice and you'll see this option here that says mic mode. We're gonna tap on this and then we're gonna set it to voice focus. So now what this is gonna do is use AI to analyze all of the background noise and just cancel all of that out, make it really quiet, making it much easier to hear when you're on the phone. And this is definitely a really useful feature if you're in a noisy environment. All right, so now let's talk about this phone feature right here. So if you tap into here, you can see it says get real time translation during calls. Now this is really awesome if you're talking to somebody who speaks another language or maybe you're trying to call some local shop and you're out of the country and you don't really speak the language. This will live translate everything that's said to your language and everything that you say to the other person's language. This is definitely a really useful feature if you're somebody who travels a lot. But now let me show you exactly how this works. All right, so here we go. I have given myself a call. Now, when you enable that feature, you'll see this call assist button right here. So we're gonna tap call assist. We're gonna tap live translate. And now your phone is going to send a voice message to the other person telling them that you are using a live translator just so they're aware. And here you can select your language. So I'm speaking English and the other person is speaking French. Now, let me show you what this looks like. So I'm gonna unmute myself and I'm gonna ask something from this other person. Hi, I'm just wondering if you can help me find the closest steakhouse for tonight. I am feeling really hungry. Bonjour. Je me demande si vous pouvez m'aider à trouver le steakhouse le plus proche pour ce soir. Je vous sens vraiment affamé. And there you go, just like that, the other person heard everything that I said in French. It was all translated for them so they can understand exactly what I'm saying. And on your phone, you'll see the entire dialogue just so you can keep up and see exactly how the conversation is going. Now, I don't really speak French. I know a few words, so I'm going to say something on this phone and we're going to see how it translated over to this phone. Bonjour, je m'appelle Alex. Hello, my name is Alex. And there you go. You can see it translated that over to my phone. I heard it in English and I also have that dialogue here in text. And you can see just how powerful this feature can be if used in the right circumstances. Maybe you need to call and get help or just make something as simple as a restaurant reservation. You no longer need to try to figure out how to do it, try to send messages, translate anything. You can do it live through a phone call, saving you lots of time. All right, guys, so the next one down this list is the Samsung keyboard one, and this one is baked right into your Samsung keyboard, but essentially what it will do is help you translate text, help you style text, or just check for grammar and spelling mistakes. So let me show you exactly what this one looks like. All right, so here we go. I am in my Samsung keyboard, and I've written out this message. Hey, what's going on, bro? Let's grab tacos later. So what you can do now is you can tap on the, this little icon right here with the stars for your AI-generated stuff. And you can see we have three options. We can translate it, we can change the writing style, or check for spelling and grammar mistakes. Maybe we wanna change the writing style. So this is the original ver uh, version that I wrote, but maybe you wanna be more professional. Maybe you're sending this to your boss or your manager. And you can see it says, hello, how are you? I would like to suggest that we have tacos together at a later time. Or maybe you wanna be more casual. Maybe you want to be more social. You can see with the social option, we have even some uh, emojis and some hashtags in here. Maybe you wanna post this to Twitter or something, but you can go ahead and just select whichever one you want. Let's say we wanna be professional. You can just tap insert and it will change your message on the go. You can also go back here and of course translate it. So this is pretty self-explanatory. You can change it from English to whatever other language that you have installed on your keyboard. And of course the last one, we can go ahead and check for spelling, spelling and grammar mistakes. And you can use these features anywhere that you have your Samsung keyboards. As long as you're using your Samsung keyboard, you have access to all of this and you can change the styles, translate or check for spelling and grammar in any of those applications. All right guys, so the next one on the list down here is the Samsung Notes. And if we enable this, you can see what it will do is help us improve our notes. So I'm gonna show you exactly what this looks like. We're gonna bring up our notes application. And right here, I have a note that I copy pasted from the internet and pasted into here. And you can see this is just a wall of text. It's kind of hard to read. There's no formatting, 
but we can of course improve this. So we're gonna hit on this little AI button right there. We're gonna select everything in this note. And now we can auto format, summarize, correct the spelling or translate. So let's do auto format and see exactly what that looks like. We have an option between headers and bullets and meeting notes. So let's do headers and bullets. It's gonna analyze everything and make it nice and formatted. And look at that, it gave us a title. It gave us little subsections above every area. And then within there, it broke everything down into bullet points. So now everything looks nice and organized and it's much easier to read. Of course, we can also go back if we highlight all of this again. Now we can do a summarize, so let's type summarize. It's gonna take all of this text and break it down for us into a much smaller version. So you can see we have just four bullet points that summarized all of that text into the most important information that we need to know. Next down the list, we have our voice recorder. So this one is actually pretty interesting as well. We don't actually have to enable anything. This is baked right into the voice recorder. I'm gonna show you exactly what these new features are. It's almost, it's very similar to the notes one where it kind of summarize everything. So now I'm just gonna hit record and I'm gonna start talking into the phone. So this is the Galaxy S24 Ultra. And today we are talking about some of the new AI features that came to this phone. Now I'm going to do something that's a little bit weird, but I'll show you in a second why. And I think that this is a really awesome phone and a lot of people are really going to enjoy it. All right, so there we go. Now we're just going to hit stop. We're going to save this. So now we're going to go into this recording and you see we have this transcribe button that says transcribe this recording to get a full text transcript. So we're going to tap transcribe. We're going to select our language. So we're going to stay with English, hit transcribe and just give it a second to do its magic. And check this out. Now we have the full transcript of that conversation. So you can see it has pretty much caught on to everything that I was saying, converted it to text, skipped all those pauses, put it into sentences. And then when I changed my voice, it realized that there is actually a second speaker. So if you're doing an interview or talking to somebody else, it can distinguish between the different voices and break it up into different speakers. So you know exactly who was speaking and what they said. Definitely a really, really awesome feature. And of course you can always go ahead and change the language of this, or you can tap onto here to the summary. So if you had a really long conversation and you kind of just want to get the summary, it will analyze all of this text and again, summarize everything for you into just a few bullet points. So you get only the most important information. Definitely a really, really useful feature if you're somebody who uses the voice recorder. All right, guys, moving further down the list. Next, we got Samsung Internet on here. So this one is pretty cool. If we go into here, you can see we can summarize and translate web pages. So to show you what this looks like, I have a Wikipedia page here open of Elon Musk. And if you can see, if we scroll, there is a whole lot of information here to read about, but maybe I don't want to spend 30 minutes reading about this. I just want to get a summary of all the most important parts. So again, we're going to hit this little star icon right here to invoke the AI and we're going to hit summarize. And what it's going to do is pretty much just summarize the whole entire page for us. Now let's say this is not enough and maybe we want to learn and read a little bit more. We can tap on this icon right here and you see we have a summary style. We can change it to detailed tap done is going to regenerate us the summary, but add a little bit more information. And there you go. You can see it came back with a little bit more beefy of a summary so we can read through this and learn a little bit more. And of course, as always, we can hit translate to translate this to another language if we so choose. All right, guys, and the final one on this list, we have our photo editor. Now, when we enable this, we're going to have a few cool new features when it comes to editing our photos. So let me show you exactly what those are. I'm going to go back to my albums here and I have a picture here when we went on a walk in the park and to show you what we can do with these photos we're going to go to the pencil icon and we're going to have our ai button right there so we're going to tap on it it's going to analyze our photo and now we can do something like tilt the photo maybe change the orientation but what we can do is just tap generate and watch what happens Look at that, the AI generated and auto-filled all that space so that it looks like the original photo and we did not have to crop into this photo and it actually looks really, really amazing. And we can tap here to view the original and you can see how good of a job it did filling in all that extra space with AI. If somebody showed me this photo, there's no way I would be able to tell that this is filled in with AI. All right, now let's go back into here, tap on the AI button again, because what else we can do is take any elements within the photo and move and resize them. So let's say I want to move my dog. We're going to tap on her and maybe we'll drag her up to the front a little bit. And let's also resize her to make her look bigger. So we'll move her here and then we're going to hit generate and the AI is going to fill that space where she used to be so that it looks like there was nothing there in the first place. And look how good of a job it did. I mean, there's some shadows back there. There's a lot of terrain, different colors. You really can't tell that this was auto filled with AI or that the dog used to be there. It just did a really, really good job 
of filling in that empty space. Now, another AI feature available to us in the gallery app is the ability to slow down videos that were shot in a low FPS. This video that I shot right here is only in 30 FPS. So if you were to slow this video down by half, it would be a very choppy video because there is not enough frames to fill in for that slow motion. But what we can do on the Galaxy S24 is use AI to create a slow motion video. So I'm gonna play this and then watch what happens when I just tap and hold on the video. It is going to play it in slow motion and use AI to fill in those empty frames. Now you can also tap on this pencil icon right here and you can choose how much you want to slow the video down and at what point of the video you want to apply the slow down effect. So if we tap on adjust speed, you can see we have a few different options here. So let's say we want to slow it down to one fourth. You can see we can select at what point of the video we want to actually apply that effect. And then you can just tap save to apply this effect to your video. But there you go, guys. That's pretty much going to do it for all of the AI features that came to the Galaxy S24 lineup of phones. As you can see, some really cool stuff in here. AI is only in the infancy this is the very first galaxy model to have ai and i really can't imagine what's going to happen in the next five to ten years it's going to be absolutely crazy all of the things we're going to be able to do with ai at the palm of our hands on our phones but let me know in the comments below your favorite ai feature but that's going to do it for now hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to leave a like subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one peace